Hi everybody, welcome again to the th third track about how we can apply artificial intelligence in logistics, more specifically how we can apply uh, some artificial intelligence techniques in the context of port, container port operations. So my name is Aníbal Azevedo and I'm going to explain in detail uh, how you can do uh, this in Python using Google Colab, okay? So in this third track, before we start to program or start to coding, uh, we need to explain what we're gonna do at this time in the in this track. Okay, so this track will be about how we can build a very simplified simulation of operations in a container port. So let's remember what we saw in previously uh, tracks because we're gonna use this knowledge. From previous tracks. Okay, so I will show now uh, some some pictures about this. So remember that we we are trying to create a very simplified uh, simulator of this, the operations of this type of con uh, container port. So uh, okay, now no, we are gonna not include vehicles at this time. We have many other uh, equipments. And thanks to model, but we start to model the ship, the container ship, and the quake cranes, the quake crane movements. So uh, we, in the first track, we describe in a very uh, simple way how we can code the, the container ship, the space of the container ship in a class. How we can des uh, design, we, how we can uh, put this uh, organization of containers in st into stacks. How we can do this so uh, obviously we, we don't like effects like that okay so one thing is missing that we didn't explain it that uh, we when we are do, dealing with a mathematical model we have to tackle about this letter this letter is about uh, how many containers will be uh, uh, from a certain port will be loaded to a con at the container ship. So, uh, okay, no more math. Uh, this is uh, some mathematical that will be avoided. Okay. So now imagine that your ship is just traveling through ports, and imagine that we are in a in a port two. So we have to load some containers in port two. Also, we have to unload some containers uh, which destination port to okay so uh, one important information is to decide how to uh, put this container inside the container ship and in the second track uh, we define a uh, several rules to load or unload container okay so now we have how to uh, represent uh, the containers inside the container ship how to load and un unload containers so the third track, it's about a simulation. Uh, for this simulation, we're gonna need the, this the letter indicates the transportation matrix. What uh, information this matrix carry? Uh, this inf uh, transportation matrix, uh, we can see that each line represents an origin, a port or origin port, and each column represent a destination port. So this first line, represents how many containers which destination is port 2 and e, uh, which origin is port 1 will be loaded in port 1 so two containers which destination is port 2 will be loaded in port 1 one container which destination is port 3 will be loaded in port 1 and at least uh, the last container will be one container which destination is port 4 will be loaded in port 1. So let's see this in, in a more uh, easy way to see. So these four containers will be should be loaded in port 1. So uh, as you can see here, we don't have uh, uh, containers with which destination is port 5. Uh, we can have it. Uh, Although we ran on picture the port 5 here, we can also include a, a, a 5 port here. 
50 uh, so uh, we didn't we can as we arrive in each port we can see how many containers we should load at this port okay so remember also we have to unload containers each time we have uh, we arrive in a certain port okay so this uh, loading and unloading rules we already talked about it and now we're going to define how we can uh, apply the rules according to this transportation matrix to load how many containers this transportation uh, matrix will give this information okay so uh now we're gonna talk about the, what we have already coded in previously tracks so we already have uh some code that can create uh how you can load container ship it it's here okay we're gonna use it and also we have so uh, uh all loading and unloading rules we are already defined through uh, the second track we already have here okay and finally we're gonna start coding the next class uh how we can create a simulation uh, port uh, port simulator but we have to do uh, uh, to deal with this tra transportation matrix okay so i hope you will find this introduction video uh, useful don't forget to see uh, previously tracks to understand completely how you can implement this code uh, during my video appeared some cards so uh, if you don't uh, saw the previously tracks it's important to understand what we are doing at this time okay so i hope you find uh, this video interesting and see you in the next video bye